Hold fast, Sadie. And so we started day three, going from Dolach to Marterle. Many people have let us know that this part of the walk is unsuitable for children. But here we go anyways. Aurora, how do you feel that we are about to climb one of Austria's tallest small hills? Feels down thumb. Zadie, how do you feel about having gotten a banana with your breakfast? Tamar, how do you feel about being the handsomest person in our group? I'm really good about that. Tova, how do you feel about having been hit in the mouth with a zip line? Really bad. Sophia, how do you feel about having been caught out as the werewolf? We came upon a gathering at the church where some kind volunteers gave us cross cookies and sparkling juice. Then I do. Go back. Go back. Zadie, what will you do? You will go for jogging me, Rosie. Can't you go back, Stan? Zadie, what you do? So. Oh, nice. Sing, 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 sing. We have discovered a brand new way of getting kids up really steep mountains. Our entire trail is covered in ants. And so for about 350 vertical meters, Tova refuses to stand still because she's going to get devoured. We are on a very steep hill. You sort of can't even tell from this angle, but it's got to be like 80, 85 degrees vertical. Zadie is laboring up like the little train that could. Tova is scampering up like a Bambi. And Sophia is chugging up like the other little train that could. There was a stump with a hole in the middle and I had a pine cone and I said that you would be happy for the rest of the day if I managed to throw it in the hole and I managed to. <laughs> Everyone cheer for mama. Hip hip. Hooray. Cheer for papa's happiness. Hip hip. <laughs> Cheer for Zadie's emotions. Hip hip. Hooray. <laughs> Cheer for Sophia, who's the only one who cheers. Hip hip. Hooray. Here we are at the top of the mountain where we saw beautiful views and shrines. And we made it to our final destination. Tired, but happy. We had the guest house all to ourselves. We cooked pasta over a wood-burning stove in an icy cold kitchen. And then Tamar gave the girls their first bride present of the trip. This mighty cool, mighty fine tube for blowing some bubbles that lasted a mighty long time. <laughs>